That must be the tower, huh? Basically, the final part, and in the last episode, Kyle went through, chased through the Imperial, chased through the Imperial City, just to stop the Black Dragon. But oh no, it's too late. Now the Black Dragon has reached the Cybernetic Tower, and it has mutated. Believe, believe it or not, um. You can't reach this. You can't not reach this area in the uh, normal game. If you pick the game on easy, th yeah. If you pick the game on easy, basically, um, if you pick the game on easy, it'll just stop you on the fourth level under the um, ruins of the excavation site. If you pick the game on normal, you could complete the game. We get one or two endings in the game, believe it or not. The endings are not as major than, let's say, the se than the game sequels, Panzer Dragon 2's Way and Panzer Dragon Saga. But you do want to get at least, um... You do want to get at least... You do want to get at least a good ending in this game. Because it actually, um, okay, because it actually gives you extra cutscenes and better credit sequence. And there's also a second, uh, form to this, uh, final boss. This first form is not that easy. When you beat on normal, basically, uh, the mutated black dragon in this form actually dies faster. There is a second form. It's not like in the uh It's not like in the third game where let's say Azel's on the dragon and a Tom and a Tom has two forms. This and Panzer Dragon 2 are the only few bosses that only have like two forms for a final boss. But don't worry, unlike Panzer Dragon. Two's way, or let's say the Guardian Dragon's um, um, Dragonfly. The Guardian Dragon's like Dragonfly form can be a bit annoying. It, its mosquito form can be a bit annoying. The Black Dragon's um, the Black Dra Dragon second form is basically its normal form, but a bit bulkier and small. It's a bit smaller and bulkier. So think of it like uh, Frieza in a way, where let's say Frieza's first form is um... Frieza's first form is the normal state, but then the second form, Frieza 2, 
is basically smaller, but a little bit more powerful. This dragon may be smaller, but it can shoot laser blasts even uh, longer. And not only that, um, that, not only that, it could do a, a, a big screen look. But it can shoot the, the dragon's uh, little projectiles before it does the big fuck you laser, then you're pretty good. Believe it or not, and this boss is not that hard in the game. Well, anyway, I'm going to tell you more about this game. Did you know that this game actually uses four video processors. Yeah, I know. For something this big for a Sega Saturn game. Keep in mind, folks, this game was supposed to keep compete with the likes of other PlayStation titles like Jump and Flash and whatnot. And it has VDP1, which basically uh, does the skyboxes. VDP2, which basically does the ground and ocean textures. VDP3, which basically uh, gives the skyboxes and other um, and, and other uh, set pieces, other stage set pieces, um, more detail to the JPEG. And VDP4 is what renders the character models, the dragons, and the enemies in this game. Yeah, so that's freaking very ambitious. For a title like this, and the sequels will look even better than ever, of, of course. Well, anyway, I'll be right back. I'll let you watch. Down to the right. Wait, 30 degrees left. Red 20 right. What's that noise? Could it be the dragons? That's right. I am called Blum. Blum? You must lend me your power guide. My power? It is so. To defeat him, we need to combine our power. Deep inside you, Kyle, lies the power of the dragon within. Join with me. I will join with you. Alita. That 
voice. Kyle, you must be Kyle. Oh, this breeze, the smell. This must be the sea. Anita, you can see me. You can actually see me! Yes! Look, Kyle, what is that? Oh, Anita, that is the shape of destiny. like everything turned back way back to normal the dragon finally destroyed the black top it's finally destroyed the set well not quite but destroyed the cybernetic tower and the black dragon even though this tower in the series has never explained how it gets reincarnated I'm assuming the Imperials must have built multiple towers believe it or not and Kyle is finally reunited with his girlfriend. Ugh. Well, this is Panzer Dragoon 1. And I gotta say, it's a fantastic game on the Sega Saturn. And it's probably the most underrated Sega series I have ever played. Like I said, this game has a lot of influence throughout all of movie and video game media, of course. But it mostly borrows a lot from Nausicaa and Dragon's Heaven. It's basically those two movies, but turned into a video game. And, I just did my research, there are other inspirations that basically inspire the creators, mainly uh, use of Yu-Gi-Oh! Fusagi, and other, um, and other things that he was inspired from, other things that he was inspired when making this series, aka the Inhumans. Because um, the Inhumans is basically a comic book series where you have these uh, different type of mutated aliens who are, have been terrogenicized by um, by their worship leader Black Bolt and um, their gods. And basically, in that series, Atalan is just basically a lost dystopia future which is basically Panzer Dragoon it's a lost civilization and it's and it takes place in the post-apocalyptic world hell they're using characters that Marvel would use that Marvel would use from other inspirations from this game like uh, the character Tolgolum Tolagum and Terrigen which are basically two cybernetic um, females that control technology, whether for good or evil. Not only that, the, um, 
not only that, many characters from the Inhumans basically inspired a lot of um, characters from Panzer Dragon, like Medusa, in a way. See how she's a, um, just like Azel, seeing how she's a um, human, she's seeing how she's an inhuman that can't really trust and get along with other humans in the world. Not only that, if it wasn't for the Panzer Dragoon series, we wouldn't have other TV shows, movies, other games that were in that that were inspired from this series alone after the lives of Panzer Dragon Saga, like series like Farscape, Tiny A, hell, even the Drake Guard, Drake and Drake Guard series and the Near series, because um, Square Enix Drake Guard series. If you ever play those games, they borrow heavily a lot from Panzer Dragoon Saga, where you're flying on a, a dragon in a post-apocalyptic type world, I, or is it a medieval world? I can't really, I can't really explain because I haven't really played the Drake Guard series, but you can see the inspiration from this series alone, of course. Not only that, games like Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, they borrow a lot. They borrow a lot from the Panzer Dragon series. Hell, even Cowboy Bebop. Okay, scratch that. I don't know if Cowboy Bebop borrows a lot from Panzer Dragon. But yeah, like I said, this game basically is the most influential video game titles that I ever played in my life. And it's a darn fucking shame that, you know, Sega... It's a darn fucking shame that Sega isn't gonna hire anybody to remake these games. I mean... Come on, Sega. You're sitting on a gold. You're sitting on a gold mine at this point. Because sorry for the interruptions, Sega. You're sitting on a gold mine at this point because you hired the lives of you hired the lives of Taxman Stealth to make Sonic Mania. And I'm like, can you do the same with uh, Panzer Dragoon? Hire these fans? Sorry this video is going long, but I do want to explain the reason why Sega should hire these fans. They sh because, let's face it, these games are so fucking expensive. If they could get... Because I go on a site called Easit.com. I mean, pray to God that site doesn't go down. Because we need people like Custom Backup Cart and Knights Into Dreams 96 who make these well excellent reproductions and who make these well excellent reproductions of both Sega Saturn and Dreamcast games. I don't know why Sega cannot hire the lives of dumb call them, then they could just remake the games. But I don't want to go in a long tangent, because let's face it, I don't want to keep this video long as it is. Because, let's face it, if you're going to get into the Panzer Dragon series, these games are no joke. These games are expensive. So I would recommend you get yourself a Sega Saturn Get yourself a regular Sega Saturn, and I would recommend you get a, yourself a boot cartridge. And don't go on sites like eBay. Go on an underground website like Easy.com. Message one of those sellers, and if they have high-quality bootlegs, you could basically play play this series. You will not regret it. And also, maybe get yourself a 3D controller or a mission stick because these games were actually full on 3D 
and it's kind of amazing to me because the Sega Saturn can't really do 3D and 3D games as a whole, but having a 3D game that takes place in a post-apocalyptic setting will always still be amazing, a and a game that has its own lost civilization will be amazing to me. Granted, it's not something we saw before, games like the Meg with, you know, having a whole post-apocalyptic war going on while some evil tyrant takes over the massive land due to some futuristic computer virus. We've seen it before in Mega Man X, we've seen it before in Final Fantasy VI, however Panzer Dragoon takes it up to a next level because the life because before the lives of Final Fantasy VII was a thing, this is something we saw in 3D. Oh, even the first level, you fly over ancient Roman architectures, and later on, you fly into this temple, Mala you fly into this different temples, Malaysium, underground ruins, and Smithsonian's in the series. And you actually get to see its beautiful, like, architecture, and hell, even some scary and atmospheric and dark settings for this game. So yeah, I did purchase this series, um, I do have the first game, believe it or not, I paid 75 bucks for that. I paid $50 disc only for Panzer Dragon 2, I had to make the box and manual myself. Panzer Dragon Saga, I had a bootleg, but it's a bootleg that is world worth it. As for Orda, I have it for, I brought that first for $20. So if you're going to get into that series, I would recommend you play um, Panzer Dragon Orda because um, you can unlock the first game, but however, with Orda, there's a lot of story elements that's borrowed a lot from the third game, so I would not highly recommend you get into that game right away, unless you really want to see what the series is all about. Even though I like, I love this game, I prefer the sequels more, because especially Panzer Dragon 2, that's like my favorite out of the series, second being uh, Panzer Dragon Saga, because they just took the gameplay and expand upon it, and it has it has a the, the second game finally has a save feature, and I think it just has more replay value that due to the multiple pass systems that you can take, and the stories were just more expand upon. After Mr. Fusagi did, uh, after Mr. Y Yuko, Yukio Fusagi did the first game, he immediately worked on the RPG in the series, Panzer Dragon Saga. However, though, um, he didn't do the sequel. That has to be from the Toe Creator, um, Tamaro Kondo, which he worked on Panzer Dragon 2's way. And like I said, Mobius didn't stick around to the series. He only did basically the artwork for the Japanese um, manual. But Manabusa Kushino, he actually copied a lot of Mobius's and Ayo Miyazaki's artwork and basically um, applied it into the sequels. Sadly though, after Panzer Dragon's saga, Team Andromeda would later become Smilebit and we all know them from making the Jet Set Radio series, 100 Swords, and Gun Vinkiria. I could go on and on about how this first game was influential, however though, I do have a video to end. So yeah, next time when we come back, I'm going to do my absolute favorite in the series, Panzer Dragoon 2's Way. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention one more thing, uh, also about the series that influenced me, I occasionally do artwork, mainly from Panzer Dragon Saga, and I'll probably show a couple of art pieces I did 
However, though, um, if you want to see more Panzer Dragoon art, again, you can go to Panzer Dragoon Legacy. Not only that, um, I'll put a link in the description of my Tumblr uh, under the tag uh, Panzer Dragoon series, where you can see some of my various art. Not only that, you can go to the Panzer Dragoon DeviantArt fan page. But yeah, that's all I wanted to know. See you when I do Panzer Dragoon 2 Swipe. Toodles.